Good evening, Shiloh family and visitors. Thank you so much for joining us for our eighth night of our 20 night revival. I pray that you were able to join us last night for our youth night, and we thank you for being here again tonight. And we'll continue join us for the rest of the revival. If you stand in need of spiritual support, I invite you to fill out the online spiritual support form and a deacon or minister will pray with you and provide spiritual counsel. Whatever it may be, you do not have to go through it by yourself we are here for you. You can put your email address in the comments section or fill out the spiritual support form online. It is offering time, Shiloh. Here is your opportunity to bless this church and the preacher of the night. Please join us as we recite the consecration of our tithes and offering. Dear Father, may thy love abound toward us as we now bring to thine altar this our gift. Help us that we may not give our monies as a necessity nor grudgingly, knowing that God loves a cheerful giver. We ask thy blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. You can view our four ways of giving on your screen. Visit our website at shilohbc.org give. Text the word give to 301-321-8801. Mail your gift to the address on the screen, or you can stop by the church to drop off your love offering. You can also give on our F1 Go app. Now, after a selection from our music ministry, the next voice you will hear will be from our very own Minister Rossi Graves. up to the highest mountain, looked all around, couldn't find nobody. Went down into the deepest valley, looked all around down there, couldn't find nobody. And when I crossed the deep blue sea, couldn't find no one to compare. Your grace, your love, your mercy. Nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody greater, no. Nobody greater than you. Searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody greater, no. 
nobody greater than you nobody greater nobody greater lord nobody greater than you your name is above all names your name is above all names your word of all our praise. You're worthy of all our praise. Mighty are the works of your hand. 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 Your name is above all names. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of all our praise. You're worthy of all our praise. Mighty are the works of your hand. 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 Your name is above all names. 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 You're worthy of all our praise. You're worthy of all our praise. So worthy of all our praise. You're worthy of all our praise. God, you're worthy of all our praise. 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 Hallelujah. Nobody greater, nobody greater, no, nobody greater than you. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody, nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Good evening, Shallow. I'd first like to give honor to God for allowing me to be in his house one more time. Giving honor to my pastor, Pastor Collinson, my mentor, Reverend Stephanie Stancil, the Reverend's ministers and congregation of Shallow. The text tonight will be taken from the book of Psalms 23. Psalms 23. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you today seeking your guidance. I ask that the word you have given me pricks the hearts of those who have ears to hear. Remove me, Lord, and set your spirit with, with me to give your people a word 
from you. Bless each household that is here today, that they may be prepared in their hearts and mind to receive a word from you. To prepare us for your kingdom, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. And now the scripture, and I'll be reading from the King James Version, Psalm 23. And it reads thus, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God's word is already blessed. Amen. Shallow, I want to share with you all an experience that I had. As most of you know, I have diabetes, and for the most part, I've been managing well. I've been doing pretty good with it. But one day back in February of 2022, I fell into a diabetic coma. I was at home, and I was about to eat, so I took some insulin before I was going to eat something. I got busy with other things and running around the house doing some things, and I did not eat some food. And that's rare for me because I am a seasoned veteran at eating. An hour had passed and I checked my blood sugar levels and it was still over 200, so I decided to take another shot of insulin and then fix myself something to eat. And once again, I failed to get some food. I went upstairs to my bedroom and started looking through my emails. And the next thing I knew, I saw my wife standing over me, crying, and people from EMT stuffing sugar gels in my mouth. They took me over to the Bowie Medical Center, and about four hours later, I was back to normal and on my way home. Later on that next day, I was talking with my wife, and. I asked her how did she find me, and she told me I was balled up, unresponsive, laying on the bed. She said I looked like I was in a lot of pain. My eyes were at slits, and I had labored breathing. But Shiloh, I was going, what was going on inside me was total peace. I was at total peace. I couldn't feel a thing. I felt nothing. I was in a quiet place, and it was not my time yet. I must say that God led me by the still waters. I laid down with him in the green pastures that day. My soul was restored, and I was in perfect peace. I knew the Lord was my shepherd, and he guided me back to this side of life. God was not done with his purpose in my life yet. That being said, Shiloh, God gave me the title of this sermon. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Gave me three points. Point number one, the Lord is my shepherd. Point number two, he laid me down. Point number three, he prepared a table for me. Point number one, the Lord is my shepherd. What defines a shepherd? Someone that watches, guides, cares, gives comfort. In other words, God is our shepherd. We walk through this excursion called life, and we do so with our, with our own self-confidence. Very few of us give credit and thanks to the God that we serve for guiding us through and holding us up when we can't see the path ahead of us. Our shepherd told us, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. 
When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I give Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and, for, and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. This is the shepherd that we serve and watches over us. The devil has to ask permission just to even touch us. And even he cannot have our soul. Shallow, I don't, want, I don't know who you are may want to be your shepherd. But as for me and my house, we choose God. All our steps are carefully guided and ordered by God. All the tribulations that we confront are designed to increase faith and strengthen our endurance. Shallow, I ask you, who do you want as your she shepherd? Who do you want as your shepherd? Will it be money, material things, man, politics? Who? All these things will fail you, no doubt. Will you allow God to be your shepherd and believe his word when he tells you he will never leave you or forsake you? We shall not want for anything. All of our needs are provided for and we are spiritually satisfied. Shiloh, the Lord is my shepherd. Is he yours? Point number two. He laid me down. Sometimes we get so busy with worldly things that we can't hear God speak into our situation. He has solved the tribulation before we even set foot in it. He has solved it. Totally done before we even get to it. We don't listen to God speaking to us. God ha has his way of slowing us down when we don't listen to what he's constantly saying. Trust me, I know. When we are slowed down, God says, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? When we hit hard times, we're certain to cry out to God in prayer and fasting. But all the while, things are seemingly great when they're going real good. Some of us give no praise to God for being the author of how the good times are going. Being the author of the good days, some of the best days of our lives. He is the only being that can give us perfect peace when we totally Focus on him. When I pass through the waters of life, he laid me down in peace. When I cross through the rivers of pain and distress, he leads me by the still waters. When I go through the hell fire the devil has set before me, he settles my soul in the green pastures he provides. And no fire shall even come nigh to me. In his promised word, he tells us this. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the nuisance and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of terror by night nor the, for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall by at thy side, and ten thousand by thy right hand. But, thy, but it shall not come nigh to thee. Sometimes God takes us through the deep end of tribulations and the deep end of waters of life because he knows the enemy cannot swim. This is my shepherd. Is he yours, Shallow? 
The Lord is my shepherd. Point number three. He prepared a table for me. I want to start here with the word prepare and what it means. Webster defines this word as, in two good ways. To make ready or suitable in advance for a particular purpose or some use. To put together using parts or ingredients to, compo to compose or construct, to equip for expedition. All of us have been through this. As I was in my coma, I felt nothing. I was in total peace, no stress. I firm, firmly believe that God had to stop me and slow me down for a minute to prepare me for my journey. I am not finished, and neither are you. All that I have been through, he was there protecting me from harm. A good shepherd prepares his sheep for dangers and will never leave them to perish. God always prepares us for our journey and gives us what we need to go through. Each tribulation we experience is in preparation for what he has in store for us. He constructed me, equipped me, re-engineered me as if I was in the valley of the dried bones. There, God prepared an army right in front of Ezekiel. He's doing the same for you. He equips you. He re-engineers you. He constructs you. He builds with these tribulations. But first, the bones in that valley had to be dead still. God had to do this, has to do this with some of us, some of us also. They got to be still, just set us still. So we can hear him and not the other things that are going on in our lives called man noise. He has to lay the ones that are extremely hard-headed down a little longer, such as myself. Shallow, all the trials and tribulations we have, were in preparation for what is to come. He has set our table in the face of our enemies that we may know the God we serve is our shepherd. He spoke to me <clears throat> and told me that I shall want for nothing. He anointed me with oil, and the rest of my days my cup shall run over with goodness and mercy. Shallow, I was letting many of man's issues get in the way of what was preparing, he was preparing me to do for him, for his glory. His message was clear. Focus on what he told me to do. Do the same, Shiloh, and I will dwell with him for eternity in his house. Can you see the table that God has set before you in the presence of your enemies? Are you going to sit at the table that he prepared for you? Shallow, pull up a chair at the table and taste and see that the Lord is good. The Lord is my shepherd. Is he yours, Shallow? Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight for night eight of our 20 night revival. We pray you have been blessed by the word of God from his messenger, Minister Rossi Graves. Please share this message with your family and friends and join us online tomorrow night on our Shiloh Baptist Church YouTube channel to hear the preached word from Shiloh's own, the dynamic Reverend Albert Curry. God's word tells us in Psalm 103 verses 10 through 11, he does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. 
For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. Until we meet again, always be blessed.